Sindicato. You know, when I started my YouTube channel a couple years ago, I was I was just that quiet Xbox guy that just loved Xbox, loved gaming, loved the PlayStation also, but my preference was Xbox, it still is, obviously. And that's what I was. Just a little quiet, small YouTuber. Obviously, I'm still a small YouTuber, but, you know, just a guy that loves the Xbox. And over the years, you know, things have changed. You know, this generation has been difficult for Xbox guys. Um, you know, I don't want to keep on repeating myself every video, but we all know what's going on. The exclusives haven't been great. I still love the console. I love the Xbox One X. Uh, but it is difficult being an Xbox guy. So when I did that video yesterday, I got a lot of backlash for the video. Not just on YouTube, but also Twitter. A lot of PlayStation guys that have never come to my channel before came to my channel to say how I didn't do research. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm a loser. I'm a stupid Xbox. I'm just an absolute dummy. First off, the video I did yesterday, it was strictly about what PlayStation guys saying Sony is not ever going to do. Yes, I understand you need a PS4 present to do, do remote play. I didn't mention that in the video yesterday, but I always knew remote play means you have to have the PlayStation in order to use it. My point was, whether it's a PlayStation there or not, you can play PlayStation games on a non-Sony device. That's all I was saying. I was just making fun of PlayStation guys saying that Sony would never do that. Oh yeah, and yesterday was crazy. Twitter was, oh man, Twitter was on fire. I put a, a couple of posts up yesterday regarding how I feel about Xbox. Man, I got called everything. But you know, it comes with the territory of being a YouTuber, putting your opinion in the public for the public to tell you what they think about your opinion. I understand that. That comes with it. But at the end of the day, man, I'm an Xbox guy. And I don't understand why us Xbox guys, even though some did reluctantly accept that gaming is changing in the future, even though they're going to have traditional consoles, things are changing. We accepted that, right? But for some reason, PlayStation guys refuse to accept that Sony is a business and they're going to do what's best for business. Yes, right now it's remote play. But do you guys honestly think it won't change? over the years that's all I'm saying man that's all I'm saying do you guys honestly think this will not evolve into something different on Twitter I said it multiple times yesterday movies TV music is all different one guy said yeah but you can still go to the movies of course you can still play traditional consoles but it's all about options you can Sit in front of your TV and watch a Netflix movie, but you can also watch it on your phone. Music is pretty much strictly streaming now for the most part and downloading digital, you know. So I'm just saying, man, the shit is changing. Now, what I really want to talk about with this video is I'm not apologizing for being the Xbox guy. I would not apologize for liking what I like. I had so many guys hit me on Twitter yesterday I had never seen in my life. Also, some guys I have seen and never interacted with comment on my post, my pro Xbox post. Why do you love Xbox? They do nothing for you. You Xbox are just absolutely ridiculous. You guys are idiots. And I'm like, man, come on, bruh. 
you know, we like what we like. You like what you like. Some of y'all might like Burger King. Some of y'all might like McDonald's. That's your damn business. Me liking Xbox is me liking Xbox. Yes, I talk about it. That's what I do. I have a small YouTube channel. There's some people that actually come to my small dog shit YouTube channel to hear what I got to say. Right? Like I said, when I first started my YouTube channel, I wanted to be a different voice in the Xbox community. I did. Then I see the guy, you know, the guys that, that, that went to the PlayStation side. Man, that's their business, man. But don't get mad at me because I'm not going to the PlayStation side. And like I always say, man, I enjoy the PlayStation. I'm not about to kiss on the ass, but I enjoy the PlayStation, man. I love to play the PlayStation 4. I keep on repeating myself. And I keep on saying this too. Xbox hasn't been great this generation. And I would even say this. PlayStation has been the battle console this generation. Yes, I will say that. But that doesn't mean I don't still like my Xbox. I'm not apologizing for being an Xbox fan. I made a joke saying, you know, people always talking shit, but at the end of the day, it's just video games. Xbox is not ruining my life. PlayStation is not enhancing my life and vice versa. Right? I always make that joke. Yeah, man, y'all need to calm down. But we're passionate about video games. We're all gamers at the end of the day. We're passionate about video games. I said this several times on Twitter yesterday when people started bashing me for being an Xbox guy. I said, what the hell are you passionate about in your life besides PlayStation? What do you like? I asked about five people that. They didn't say, they didn't, not one of them answered my question. What are you passionate about? Besides PlayStation. I'm passionate about other things besides Xbox. We're human. We're passionate about certain things, man. No, I get the console war, the so-called console war. It's not even a console war anymore. PlayStation dominated this generation. But, you know, it's fun to debate. That's, that's cool. I enjoy that debate as long as it doesn't get disrespectful. But like I said, I ask people, what is your passion in your life? Is it music? Is it directing movies? Is it taking pictures? What is it? Nobody answered my question. So if I'm passionate about Xbox, about NBA basketball, about whatever I'm passionate about, that's my business. As long as I'm not hurting nobody or, or, or doing no crazy illegal shit, that's my business. Yes, we talk shit. That's what we do. Yes. It's fun. As long as it's not disrespectful, I enjoy it. But don't call me a loser because I like Xbox. This nigga called me a loser. Uh, nigga, you a loser, nigga. That's what he said. I was like, who are you? And what's your passion? He never answered it. He said, you let Xbox that automatically means you a loser. <laughs> so yeah, at the end of the day, I am an Xbox guy. I am not apologizing for it. I know a lot of people got a problem with that, but I'm not apologizing for it. I have my own mind. I don't have to do what everybody else is doing. The PlayStation 3 wasn't great, but Sony fans stuck with the PlayStation 3. Then eventually they got good towards the end of the, uh, uh, the generation. Xbox One has not been great this gen, but I truly feel they're gonna be good next generation. I'm not saying they're gonna win next generation. I feel they're gonna be good next generation. If Xbox wasn't buying studios, showing improvement, to hell, maybe I wouldn't be fighting for Xbox like this right now. Maybe I would be quiet, but they're trying to improve, and I'm noticing it. And I'm also noticing that I'm about to get out of here, y'all. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you happen to subscribe to my channel, just fuck.